We do. Ivan Flores writes, certain actors have been mar- remarked by playing themselves in their roles, such as RDJ as Iron Man, Chris Pratt in anything, etc. Do you think this is easier compared to other actors? And which role is your favorite where the actor practically plays him slash herself? It's hard to say that it's it, it's hard for me to say it's easier, but it's also difficult to be like, well, yeah, what Daniel Day Lewis did in Lincoln is the same thing that Vince Vaughn did in Wedding Crashers. <laughs> like, it's hard to see an actor who stays in character for months and months and months versus a guy who we as viewers would presume is like that in real right. life. So I think that no, nothing you see in, on screen in a movie is how the actor actually is on in their day to day lives. You you might see like like Good Morning Vietnam. You'd be like, I bet Robin Williams was always like that. I'm sure sure Robin Williams just like to chill out and relax for a little bit too and not be on all the time but when I see Vince Vaughn I feel like that's who that guy is a lot so he's able to tap into that aspect of his personality a little bit easier than it might be for somebody who say is in a period piece or is doing something in outer space or is playing an astronaut I know Sandra Bullock didn't have any prior training playing an astronaut so maybe a role like that in that she did in gravity is a little bit harder to play somebody like she did in speed where she's driven maybe not a bus before but she knows how to be exasperated in gravity she needs to keep that stuff in check and convey more stuff with the more simple movements of her face as opposed to just being scared like annie was justifiably so in the movie speed so my answer would be vince vaughn's the guy that always stands out to me how about you schnapp uh jack nicholson it's like especially in his later years like you know he had this 70s run where he's just basically that that guy you know Mm -hmm. he's like you know, it doesn't matter what movie is a cuckoo's nest. It doesn't matter five easy pieces. He's Jack Nicholson in that role, and that just became him. Like once he was, once we hit the eighties, nineties, two thousand, it's Jack Nicholson. So he's the actor for me who start kind of got that ball rolling as far as you're hiring him to play. Even right down to like they called him the Jack in the he, the Batman movie. It was Jack. His name was Jack. So it's just one of those things where you're sort of like he's identified as this kind of character actor but it's also kind of his personality so you're just supplanting him in different roles so that's that's one of my guesses right and i'd also like to point out i'm not criticizing vince vaughn i think what he does in movies is fantastic he's doing what he should be doing that's why he's so famous frosty how about you uh about vince vaughn i've done uh like a set visit or two with him and it's interesting because he's a lot more reserved and quiet in between takes than you would think he is the person who seems for me to be on screen and off screen very very similar in a lot of roles is seth rogan mm. i mean he like you talk to him and he is seth rogan and on screen he's seth rogan <laughs> you right. know ex- unless he's in like you know steve jobs where he's playing somebody right. but you know you look at a lot of his other roles uh and maybe observe and report that's a different version totally, of seth, yeah. totally. which by the way is a phenomenal it's movie. a really fun film it's observe. the best mall cop movie that came yeah, out that year totally <laughs> <laughs> Mm-hmm. It's a great, it's a great film, but uh, but Seth is someone that like you know it's him on screen. Right, Jack Black would be another one that comes to mind too. Totally. Where like you oh, see yeah. him in School of Rock, and you're like, you know, if you if you put the real Jack Black in a in a schoolroom with a bunch of kids, he would literally create the same exact band and yeah. teach them to play the same exact music. Which is part of why I found that movie so endearing and enjoyable, as I hope you guys did. To. Oh. Clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.